Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you a new video. This is Matrix Awakening Unreal Engine 5 experience. I uh, just want to do a quick intro saying um, what they showed looks kind of cool. I don't know how long this is going to be or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to do voice or anything during the gameplay. I uh, just want to do a quick intro and let's get into it see what it's like. Um, hopefully it does. It's a tough demo so it's not going to be very long but hopefully there's some gameplay in it and it looks cool. And We'll see what it's like. All right, let's get into it. I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that, why we want to make X instead of Y, where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character of Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? Haven't you ever watched a 
movie before. Shoot the tires. Say no more.
Alright guys, that was pretty impressive. I will say, um, the shooting parts were kind of lackluster because it wasn't letting me free aim and that kind of stuff. It pretty much like you just tap it and shot. Um, but I will say the graphics are really well done. Um, I could tell when they were switching between the human version and the computer generated version of um, Neo and Trinity um, and the actors and that kind of stuff. Um, this character, I don't know who she is, unfortunately. I don't know who plays her uh, or what character she's playing. But I will say, based on, like, the car damage looks pretty real. Um, you can't see the lady with the car, unfortunately. But uh, the damage is real. The driving is pretty smooth. The graphics for the CD look great. Um, yeah, it's really um, impressive to showing off what the real engine can do. Um, I wish you could check out the physical of a uh, human, but you can't. But you got details on people's faces and that kind of stuff. Um, her sprint is very slow. But they do interact with you, and I, so far I haven't seen too many people look. I got looks like Kenny Omega a little bit. <laughs> um, I want to walk around and see if I can spot any doubles or anything like that. It'd be pretty cool if they don't have doubles, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I think, yep. Yep, there's Kenny Omega, except he's darker skin this time. Yeah, they just have a little bit of difference between people. I think they probably put like, probably like 50 different designs probably. So you're not gonna like realize it probably. But it, it's still impressive. Um, this looks a lot more live than, like it looks just like Griff F Auto's next stage of how real it's gonna get and how stuff like that. Um, I don't wanna keep rambling on. I just wanted to show off this little bit. There's Teddy Omega again, so darker version. Um, but now, like, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not super impressed by it, but it, it, it is cool. It, it does show the future of gaming and that kind of stuff. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Attention viewer, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe.